And joining us now is Buddy Martinet, Wilmington's fire chief. Chief, good morning. Thank you for being with us. I, as I understand it, you've been in that community for a long, long time. How does this compare to other storms you've seen? Well, I don't think anybody has, since I've at least been here, anybody's seen anything like this. Um, I, as a matter of fact, I saw something a little bit earlier that said we hadn't seen winds this strong in Wilmington for 60 years. Wow. Buddy, the mayor so says... That uh, the mayor says he's concerned um, about a bunch of things. One of them is how quickly the water seems to be rushing in, and that's leading to, obviously, some more rescues. Have you guys been doing rescues? Tell us what's happening. We, we have several active rescues going on as we speak, uh, mostly as a result of trees down on homes that have trapped uh, people uh, in their houses. Uh, and uh, we, we've uh, just cleared up from a, house, from a residential structure fire not too long ago that turned into a de defensive operation. Obviously, that was at the height of the hurricane. So <clears throat> we've, got, we've got first responders out there trying to do the best job they can. The, the, the problem that we have now is the roads are almost impassable. Um, it's, a, it's a jigsaw trying to get around town to try to get between all the trees that have got, gotten across the roads. Are you in a position, Chief, to do water rescues if necessary? Sounds like in other parts of the state there have been people stranded literally on, you know, in, in an attic or a top floor. Well, we haven't been able, we, we haven't yet accessed the beach communities. Uh, that's going to be a first priority, I think, after we can get in a, in a uh, uh, more of a rescue stance. Uh, right now, uh, we're having trouble in the urban and more suburban area of the city proper itself. Um, and and uh, th that's being very difficult for us to, to address here and lately. Chief, we're watching the clock here because we keep hearing that high tide hits between 11 and noon somewhere. That's, that's Eastern time for yeah. us. Um, tell us what your concerns are in that hour. Well, I mean, obviously we have access concerns. You know, you can't get the we, – we, we're getting a double whammy here. This thing is just sitting on us right now. And, you know, with hurricane force winds over long periods of time, even the most sturdy trees uh, are, are holding up. So our problem is going to be access from trees uh, initially. But you're right, at high tide, we're going to have to see where the river is. Uh, and I know um, I, I heard earlier Mayor Sappho was talking about the uh, – how quickly the river is rising and um, – it, when our river floods in some parts of Wilmington, that's a pretty devastating event. Now, we have low-lying areas, but in some parts of it, the river's pretty, the banks are pretty high. And what about the safety of your first responders? You know, as we've covered it this morning, there have been moments and times where rescues simply cannot take place because it isn't safe for your first responders. But it sounds, sir, like you do have some folks who are able to try to get out there. Mm -hmm. And it's safe enough to do that? Well, it's not safe, um, that, that's for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. But what we've trained our firefighters to do is if they can save somebody's life, then we're <laughs> going to save somebody's life. That's what we're put here to do. Mm -hmm. And in this particular case, the, re the rescues that are going on now are where people are there. We are actively trying to rescue people that are trapped in their homes by, by fallen trees. Uh, and so that is ongoing, and it will continue to be ongoing uh, until we get into the uh, the recovery part of this operation. All right, Wilmington's Fire Chief Buddy Martinet. Buddy, thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck. I know these are really difficult times, and thank you for taking a couple of minutes to speak to us about this. You're welcome. Uh, you know, it, the, you can't underestimate, you know what else? It's the fatigue, because these guys have been prepping, and you're on kind of fumes. Yes. So in addition to how treacherous it is out there, you literally are operating on almost nothing. Remember we had one official on this morning said their folks have been already had 36 hours without yes. sleep, and the, the storm just got here an hour and a half ago, uh -huh. at least in terms of landfall.